Now, we've really got to hope they kind of hit the ground running because they have been pretty slow building throughout this Group B thus far. We're getting into Overpass, no waiting around. Pistol Rad already underway. And it's going to be uh, Plopski donning the utility here for the NIP side just to smoke at a flashbang. He's even throwing that PT-50 into the hands of Forrest. And Forrest has been the, the real consistent pillar within this NIP squad, both here in this group, but also forever, it feels like. Yeah, he was playing out of his mind yesterday, even when the rest of NIP were really having troubles, especially on that nuke game. Looking for more Forrest to step up in this best of three, and they'll need to, because Vitality coming in as big favorites. NIP, very slow round, extremely slow round. They are holding default towards a T-spawn. Bomb is outside of B. Vitality not going for any peaks. The only person who could is RPK towards the barrels, but he's just sitting back and relaxing. He might need to. NIP beginning to start to take some water control. They've only got one flash and one smoke as well, so that's going to limit them when it comes to the execute. Can't just be using it all just to gain very basic map control. Apex is going to jump spot. Now, he doesn't see anything, but he gets shot at. So he knows there's at least players nearby for NIP as they get ready to execute inside of this B site. Still Forrest lurking around A, trying to catch rotations down the connector once this push comes through. And he might get flanked because Shox is beginning to move up as well. The slow pace from NIP could come back to haunt them here at the 35 second mark. Yeah, Shox is getting a lot of information from this push, and Forrest is none the wiser already. This has allowed for so many rotations down towards B. It just depends how Ooh. deep can Forrest get, because as he gets towards this A site, he will spot that there's not much here. And if he can calm that to the rest of... I mean, there's 14 seconds. They've got to go. They've yeah. got to commit to this. They don't have a choice, no matter how much info Forrest gets. And they try and get into the site. This bomb has to go down. And Plopski, the only man here, no time for an IP. You were, you were dead on, Hugo. The time has come back to punish them. Forrest, he stays alive after the time. So he's got that PT-50 in armor. If you're an IP, you've got to invest in this round now. Yeah, this I is a, a force by whether they like it or not. I see what they were trying to do, but really not going about it the best of ways. Far too slow, making literally no progress. Forrest gets a big flank on that A site, but if you're flanking onto the A site with 10 seconds left and the bomb isn't even out onto B and Vitality have a quad B stack, what do you do there if you're an IP? That was lost from the second shocks push long and called the rotate for Vitality. They had such a strong setup on that uh, B bomb site. Can't really ask for much or uh, much more for Vitality. Shox is aggressive in this round as he was in the prior. Pushed up towards the playground with the SMG. Rez getting a pick down on B with a Deagle. Now Shox, he might come into action. He's going to hear this jumping around. Could even find the bomb if he bypasses these players. But Lecro is patient for a potential push. Really good restraint from Shox not to go around this corner. It's very tempting considering how deep he is. And Lecro will be the one to fall first. He gets aggressive to his own demise. And now NIP, well, they've just got to go forward. They know that their flank is contaminated with a Frenchman. That bomb has still not been found by Shox, luckily enough. And NIP going to close the gap on this A site. Zaiwu just trying to keep them at bay. Oh, nice shot from Twist. These Deagles are coming up clutch for the ninjas. Vitality are going to be kicking themselves. This is the force buy from NIP, and it's working brilliantly. Just RPK left in the 1v4. And you don't fancy his odds here. With armor across the board, NIP are looking good to find this first round. The bomb making its way into the bomb site. That re-smoke comes down, and RPK not being given an opportunity back into this round. He does have a smoke and a flash. He can maybe try and use that to get into the bomb site, but just, I mean... Look at this. He's hidden a smoke. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. Now they've hit him. They 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 should be aware. RPK will get picked up. NIP able to break that anti eco from Team Vitality early on, and now setting themselves up to get off to a good start here on the T side of Overpass. Yeah, Pistol may have, got not, may have not gone their way, but the second round certainly did, and that's put Vitality on a force by war. This team is lethal with pistols, though. We know what the French do with force buys. So NOP can't afford to get complacent here despite picking up that previous round. Two AKs as well. Far better armed than that of Vitality, who were running mainly SMGs in their anti-eco. Alex is setting up a real sweaty flashbang on that B-bomb site. Or smoke now, he's moved over, but I wonder where this is even for. I guess it's going to bounce into Monster if he runs with it. RPK 
jump spotting, just make sure NIP don't walk out into B, but that's not going to be the play. Through connector, these Swedes will stand. Very heavy B setup here for Vitality with four players. This is a big gamble. Shox is spotting long, but NIP are getting deep toilet control without even facing this man. He's going to start to hear Forrest's footsteps, and that will send him back and call for a rotation. So we're moving back up from the CT spawn. So two Deegs on the A site. And NIP, this is a very patient T side so far. All three rounds have been for this T side. Let's see if they continue it. Eventually setting up for the execute. All five players up on A here for NIP. And Vitality is starting to realize they've heard nothing down that lower site. And already Alex is coming to join them. Yeah, RPK's even gone through Monster. So four players about to be in this A site for Team Vitality. However, Rez and Twist have made quick work of the defense that was cobbled together by Team Vitality. NIP find this second round and they find it cleanly. I think the big things for me in this game, right, is can Forrest continue to be the rock of this team, right? Can he just be that consistent man? And uh, the, the other two that I'm really looking towards to have some good impact here is Rez, because yesterday you think back especially to that Inferno performance he gave, he looked very, very good there. And uh, the other man I'm going to say is Lecro, right? He got off to a... a, a, a very dismal start on day one. We saw yeah. some real signs of life out of him, though, yesterday. And it has just been this gradual build into the Pro League, on a, at least on his behalf. So look at this execute, though, from Nip. I mean, they had all the boxes checked. Three smokes on the site and a double nade to get that first player off of the box. It did pick into this map in the series, so... Can't be too surprised that they have their T-side setups on lockdown. Guns getting traded over. RPK saved that SMG, so something to play with it. It's still going to be the eco, though, by and large, for Vitality NIP. Again, playing a slow round, but uh, as they should, with rounds like this, it's quite common to see CTs get aggressive, and Vitality have done so in the toilets, at least, setting up with three players. Knowing that B has not really been a contesting point for NIP in this map, so they will get a lot of control there. You can see RPK is pushed into the short tunnel. Oh, sorry, the, the short water, rather. Something that the chat mentioned on the desk we're going to see a lot of from Vitality, especially hitting those rifle rounds. Very easy to get that Molotov over the boost wall on B to take short control at the start of the round. NIP will certainly get tested, but right now I've got to deal with this toilet setup first. Forrest moving in. Waiting for a flashbang from his team. The same comes out on B. RPK not checked again. He gets another kill from this position. Propsky trades, though. Still a player up on the sandbags, and Forrest has got to clear out this triple setup. He gets two before the trade is in, and that's fine, because NIP know that Apex is trapped, and they can deal with him as well. Only Alex left on B. Propsky's been holding this whole time, and he will not miss a shot. NIP, 3-1 start. Great beginning to this T side, but Vitality eventually coming in with their first rifle round. Yeah, and I'm wondering if it's going to feature the AWP, right? You saw Zaiwu there, $4,950. He's uh, toying with the idea of taking that glass cannon, and I'm wondering what that final decision will be. It is just the rifles here for Vitality. And, you know, justifiably so. With five players staying alive from NIP in that last round, you know the odds are they're not going to be investing into an AWP in this one. So you don't want to risk handing that over if you're Zaiwu. You don't want to put that into the hands of Twist early. I think for Vitality, it's pretty important that Zaiwu gets off to a good start because yesterday it did feel like, you know, for, for the first time in a while, Zaiwu was encountering some problems, right? Just wasn't the man uh, at the top of the board for Vitality, which isn't what we're used to seeing. Luckily enough, he had Apex having a stellar game and Alex. Those two looking good yesterday. It does feel quite relieving, at least, I think, for this Vitality squad that finally they have a system in place where even if Zaiwu isn't dropping 35 kills, they can still win out a game. But this round, NIP, they've taken connector control. They've got a foothold over here towards mid. Vitality still with three players down towards this B site. I'll finally begin rotating Alex up now. It's just very, very passive here from Vitality. They're not taking any of these early engagements. And this has rewarded NIP with a lot of map control. 
but not a lot of time. 35 seconds here for the Ninjas. They lost the pistol due to the clock, and they can't afford to do so again. Running out of utility or vitality. Smoke coming down. That's the last one. Zaiwu has a molly, but he's too far away. RPK playing by the tunnel. 20 seconds as MIP come through. Great jump from Rez using the elevation, using the curvature of the tunnel to fly him out, fling him into the bomb site. Alex trying to hold on, but he can't. And that is the round likely if Vitality don't get a kill. And it seems like it will be flawless for the Ninjas. 4-1. What is this NIP team we're seeing? They are looking so comfortable and so roaring and ready to go. Brilliant start to this map. Vitality not getting a single kill on that B defense, even though they knew it was coming. They had three players down on that lower side, but great entries from the Swedes and Vitality's money down to 3K. And it would just be the most classic nip affair to show up on day one, look so shaky versus heroic, not even look too confident versus Sprout, and then somehow come out the gate with this 4-1 yeah. lead versus Team Vitality. Should be... A 5-1 lead if they're able to find this conversion. There's not much of an investment from Team Vitality. Zaiwu, by the way, is saving some extra cash, looking to bring that AWP out. Yeah, he had 5k last round and was probably considering a glass cannon, but didn't go for it. And I, I think that's a safe decision. We like our armor on our AWPs, especially when this utility from Nip has been really good. Great grenades on that A bomb site to find players behind the dice boxes. Apex is crept himself into a nice little position here, but Rez is only holding B. He's not getting aggressive. He's just spotting and waiting for them to walk his way. That they will. RPK going down means Zywu needs to stick on this site, and that just opens up A for the taking. And believe it or not, NIP, they don't really care about these picks. They're just holding. Still, five on three, a minute on the clock, bomb back and spawn. Absolutely no rush. Yeah, likely we're going to either see Rez peel away from this B site, or, as you can see now, Twist is leaving long. He's going to be the man to go back and grab that bomb. The rest of NIP down through Connector. They've had this control since the beginning of the round, and this means for Apex, his time on this Earth is uh, come to a close. So now inside of the B site, Zaiwu instantly cut down NIP. They're going to find this conversion, unless Shox could do something remarkable with this Deagle. And he will get that first kill onto Lecro. He's just going to take the AK and run for the hills. Yeah, that's a, an interesting play. Lecro being the, the first man in makes sense as, as the low HP player to get traded, but even continually pushing towards CT, NIP, you know, Lecro specifically making a big risk to give away this gun that Shox might be able to hold on to, or the Rez finishing him off. Shox was waiting for exits, and Rez will have all the angles checked. So it's not a worry, but yeah, that's a, it's a dangerous decision from Lecro. If Shox got away with that AK, that could have come back to bite NIP in a round's time, but for now, it will be forgotten. 5-1, and absolutely perfect beginning to this map, especially considering it was Vitality to take the pistol round. Tactical pause for NIP. Interesting, given that they've been picking these rounds up. And I think, you know, they're just wanting to continue to build upon this lead. They know what it's like to be on the back foot. They know what it's like to be looking at a 1-5 scoreline and wondering how on earth are you going to start to get back into this game. And so they're just looking to keep building upon this momentum now. Really the first time we've seen NIP looking this good throughout the Pro League thus far. And they want to keep it that way. They know heading into this first rifle round, the orps will be coming in for Team Ooh. Vitality. And already, Zaiwu landing a bit of damage downrange onto Lecro, putting that orp to good use off of the bat. And now we're seeing a bit more aggression towards this A site from Vitality. You think about how they've been playing A. There hasn't really been much of a focus in the toilets, aside from in that four spy round. <laughs> Nice trade, though. Rez, I don't know how he gets away with that first kill. Left eye peek into a scoped org, but RPK is there to trade, and Zywu will catch Twist going down towards the B site. That's information as well for Vitality. They know that NIP were trying to get back down lower, and right now all three are on the top side of the map. Ooh, that flash went absolutely sky high. That lamp can really be fickle when it comes to throwing those flashbangs can go in any direction really Boris trying to regain control down towards B making sure Vitality haven't pushed here because if they do they could go for another one of these stacks 
and NIP don't want to walk into a stack with already having a man disadvantage. That bomb has been picked back up for Forrest, and Plopski going to come join him on this lower site. Vitality still with a, a, an aggressive A setup towards the toilets, but 28 seconds, NIP make their mark down towards B. RPK and Zywoo trying to hold on to this. This AWP could be a big factor. Oh, Zywoo, only going to get one more, but that is enough from him in this round. Forrest left up in the clutch, and he has dealt with RP oh, RPK. Just missing the timing there to find him, does Alex. But Forrest is dedicated to these kills now, so no there's time. no time for him to get that bomb down. Vitality, with the AWPs in play, they're able to get their first round since the pistol on the board. The AWP even held forward as well on, uh, on shocks. Curious if that's going to get thrown over to Zywoo. And indeed it will. So we're not going to see Shocks opting to take that over him just yet. There were a few times yesterday where Zaiwu was nice enough to allow Shocks to have it. But it makes sense, right? You want to have your big green gun in Zaiwu's hands. And he finds a lot Ooh. of damage onto Rez. But jeez, yeah, what, a, yeah, what a way to cancel out that bit of nade damage. Alex is trying to jump spot for the information. I might wish he... Uh, he wasn't so curious now. Rez is on a tear. I, I was wondering if he was going to keep this up. He's 11 and 2. He's <laughs> having a, a, a stellar performance, Red IP. Finding these openers in rounds just again and again. And this one is oh. no exception. This B site is just getting bullied by Rez. Zai Wu, the chief bully hunter, has been called in to try and shut down this B play, but it's not the B play. Connector control was taken by NIP once more. Vitality with no one at this side of the map allows for that quick rotation from NIP. And now Shocks at this site alone over on the A side of things, he's got to come up clutch for the Frenchman. And he's getting split as well, long and toilets coming through. So that means he really is trapped in this corner. And with Forrest playing on the right wall, that barrel might stick out. Shocks hears him and he can swing, but the missed kill. And that could have been the saving grace for Vitality, but instead it will be a plant for NIP and luckily the round with Zywoo down on B. Really nice flashbang from Lecro there over the B site into Monster. RPK was getting aggressive with Zywoo covering his short tunnel and, you know, a player, I think it was Rez walking up through the short tunnel, able to catch RPK with no cover. RPK is looking to the left side. Zywoo's been flashed off. That orb can't keep the tank alive. And as a result, Rez gets more entries inside of B. He really is looking strong right now. As are the Swedes. 6-2 up. Zywoo Holding on to this AK, but he's got an AWP dropped on the pillar at the end of the round, which he'll grab. Just easier to swing different angles with this rifle rather than play the AWP on a save, especially with four players alive. Popsky's dropped in the pit, Zywoo knows. Did that bomb blow the AWP away? That's a question here. No, luckily he's fine. He grabs it and stays alive, gets a kill on the exit. But three alive for NIP and six rounds under their wing. They are feeling more than happy with this. Their T side to overpass essentially even done. I mean, I say that. We have found Harry in the Pro League. This has been a common common discussion in those taxi rides back uh, after the broadcast that, you know, this game is feeling so much more T sided with the economy and with how teams are approaching the meta right now. We're talking about these four spies in round number two after getting bomb plants and, uh, and the crease you can get after losing pistol. It's quite ridiculous. So, you know, while we would usually say six, seven rounds T side overpass, that's great. Well, you know, with some of the matches we've seen here, it's kind of expected, if not more. So let's just see how this goes for an IP. Well, back to the drawing board for Team Vitality. They do at least have that off on Zaiwu. That's something they've had in these last few rounds. Hoping he can make a bit of a difference with it. It's this fast con and short play once again from NIP Ooh. to get that control. They'll spot the aggression down through Monster. Forrest is there to put a stop to that. Now, Shock's going aggressive in through the connector, wrapping down from the A site. Vitality, they haven't really fought for this connector position before. And while they get one of the kills, Lecro was in tow, ready and waiting to trade that one out. Not going to let Vitality swoop in, nick any guns from Connector today. They'll keep that advantage in favor 
of the Swedes. I think Vitality really have to try and do something about this connector control because it's been punishing them a hell of a lot, right? These short splits, these fast plays down towards B, they've always been able to get so much real estate for free on this map. And I think, you know, maybe when we see Vitality contesting for that a little bit more, that's where we see this NIP game plan grind to a halt because right now it's just them allowed to play their strats, allowed to play their game. And Vitality not really doing much to disrupt that giving them a lot of respect. Alex on this flank, maybe he can make a difference. Forrest is here to keep an eye on it, holding the close angle. Ooh. You saw as he goes around, he's like, oh, there could be someone in the corner. And there was, as he went to look, as he went to check, Forrest lands that shot. And so NIP seven to two now on their T side. Seemingly showing no signs of slowing down. And doing a great job of avoiding Sai Wu. Again, it's a save coming out from the young AWP player. And that has been all too common here on this on these first few rounds for Vitality. Sai Wu not really getting a, a piece of the pie, a slice of the action. He's having to hold on to his AWP and connector once again. Would like to see him get an A spawn and go for one of those early peaks. He's been trying to fight Monster and, and you know, oh my, Rez, he's so quick. But, uh, you know, Zywo is trying to be fi uh, trying to fight Monster and, and get those early picks. You know, if you don't have that A spawn, a B peak is a great idea. But even when he's doing that, NIP aren't giving him kills. And when they are, they're flashing him off. It, it's getting very hard for Zywo to find impact. And that could be NIP's way into this game. It certainly feels like they're in it right now. 7-2. And the AWP is here for Zywo. He's brought it back up despite getting killed at the end of the previous. Twist is on his as well. Rez is 14-2. Despicable. I just don't know how you put a stop to Rez if you're if your team vitality. He's in another world right now with how he's looking. Really, really wants these wins for NIP. I mean, they need everyone they can get right now. Oh, we're finally seeing some connector control attempting to be taken. However, Plopsky was posted up here to keep an eye on this bit of real estate. So, Shocks not getting the results he wanted. There is another player down in the connector in the form of Apex. Just outside of it, sorry. <laughs> that sounded deathly, Harry. Are you okay? No, I don't, I don't think I am. <laughs> I think it's finally happening, and I do just have to embrace death as it sweeps over me. <laughs> Maybe Zaiwoo's going to have to do the same thing. As there are players nearby, he's in a bit of a tricky spot here. Forest over towards short. The re-smoke comes in, and Zaiwoo plucking one from the ranks of NIP looks to get out of their apex. Man, who had a fantastic performance yesterday, has been struggling a bit in the beginning of this matchup. Time. At least scares Forrest away from the connector. But you're bang on, Hugo. There's 15 seconds. You've got to get into a bomb site here. If you're NIP and Plopsky getting that kill, he can now look to get this bomb down. It's the repeat from Short, but he's ready for it. And now trying to get this bomb planted. If they're able to deny it, this would be the round for Vitality, but they're not. It's Zaiwu up in heaven. Not able to find the shot into the site. Alex at least has helped out and pulled this into the 2v2. Will he be ready for Twist, however? Flanking through the connector. He's got to try and hold short. And with Twist getting that kill, it's all on to Zaiwu. USP out looking for Plopsky. And Plopsky is not missing a beat. 12 and 5. He's caught up to Rez. He's competing for the top spot over on NIP. Yeah. Four kills in that round. A monstrous performance. And smart kills as well. Not only getting those B entries, but as you said, you know, once he gets on the site and kills RBK, he realizes that Vitality have been in short a lot. Where is Apex? He's the B player and he can't find him. So he just waits and gets that repeat before the bomb goes down. There were 10 seconds left. If Plopsky dies, that's the round over for Nip. But he is so patient on that B bomb site and was able to take it all over the line for Nip. Really nice work from Plopsky. We're seeing everyone step up right now. Rez have his moments. Plopsky's on the board and Letko will find the opener in this round. Shocks not getting the better end of that peak. This is a Nip squad that have been absent for the uh, past few days. But looking like they're back in action. 8-2. Man advantage. Pistols out for Vitality. RPK's on the solo forced FAMAS. 
I wonder if that's a miss buy of some sort because a heavy investment is going to mean he will struggle following up in the next round. But whatever, he can buy an SMG, get a shotgun potentially for connector. Part of me even wonders if NIP are just having some, some troubles versus teams that they feel like they should be beating. Because here versus Vitality, where they're the underdogs, they're looking so damn good. And uh, two kills from Rez on the entry. There is just not much getting in the way of this man right now. Alex will at least deal with him. Looking for a bit more. Forest trying desperately Ooh. to shut this down. But Alex's quick fit footwork on the 5-7. I've made this one feel doable, and now he's got a Krieg. His long arms have reached out and grabbed it. Twister just catching that angle, and now it falls to Zaiwu once again. A one on two, definitely not impossible. He's got the bomb, now retrieved an AK. Time. 20 seconds, and IP are just leaving these down to the wire. This time, though, they've got to pick up the pace once more. They have to try and get this bomb down, and Zaiwu will do everything in his power to stop that. They instead oh. will just check him. This is great, yeah. NIP just aren't making any mistakes here. You know, the time has been a bit of a problem, right? It's lost them a couple of rounds, but other than that, they have been on top of it. Making sure that Zaiwu was not in the pit there, and that was important because Zaiwu snuck onto the site. They never saw him, they never heard him. He grabs an AK, NIP realize, and they look towards the pit for the closest position. Another one bites the dust here for Vitality, and Zaiwu's back on the AWP needs to find those opening kills. He's top fragging, but that's not really making any difference. Seven kills, next best is five. No one from Vitality really having a great start to this game. Zaiwu so has taken a long position. Twist is scoped on it though. So we can't afford to keep going forward, but luckily for him, Twist moves off the angle. A very different setup in this round for Vitality. They're already with oh, such a my. foothold in mid, and it just might not matter. Shocks, his position here maybe could prove to be valuable. It's whether or not Twist reads it, and he is just getting out of mid, so this won't be calmed. I think Shocks did catch him falling away, but Twist is just holding. Oh, back turn. Goodbye, Apex. RPK's got to get something done with this FAMAS, but only one kill, and that's not enough. We may have this flank and this information vi vi vitality, but with only two players on that lower bomb site, NIP can just, well, I was going to say trade effectively. They don't really even need to trade. Getting all the entry kills required on that B bomb site. And even though, like you said, Vitality, they threw a different setup in. I like that play. They had shocks pushed up in the fountain. They had long control. A player watching connected from an off angle. That was Alex. And just no one's able to get a kill from any position. Only RPK on B with getting met with, you know, three Ts coming up short. Ten rounds on this T side, and we are not even done. Shocks. Ooh. Uh. One thing we do need to remember, Harry, is no matter how battered Vitality could get on this map, as they are, if this continues, even if they get wrecked, you know, 16-2, say that happens, Dust 2's coming up next, we saw what happens with this Vitality roster when they move onto that map. They had their problems versus Heroic in that first game yesterday. You know, closed out 16-14, close in the end, but at one point that was a very favorable game for Heroic. And they just came back alive on Dust 2 getting 13 rounds in their first half on the T side. We won't talk about, you know, the sloppy ending that did occur, but it was a win for Vitality regardless, and that is the second map of this series. So NIP, you know, they've got to have that in the back of their mind. No matter how dominant this one feels, no matter how easy it feels, it's not a done deal till you've locked in two maps. Well, that's very true. If I'm NIP and I'm looking at that second map, I, I, I can't help but feel like, it's not as scary as it so often looks, right? Just because of how Vitality have looked a little bit shaky on it these yeah. last few days. And NIP looked warmed up, right? These shots are just connecting fabulously. Like, they're having a great day of Counter-Strike, it seems. Trying yeah. to get that molly in to deny that early peak. Zaiwu was posted up for it. This time, some long aggression coming in from Vitality. We saw them try and contend for this mid portion of the map in that last round. They didn't really get the results from it that they wanted. They've taken a bit of a different approach in this one. They're hoping that Shocks can draw the attention in. He can get the ninjas looking interested. Oh, actually, I don't know. It looks like Zaiwu is the attention man. He's going to take that AWP shot, and then he can fall off. I imagine he'll stick around to support Shocks in this movement. 
and they actually now get a bit antsy. They decide maybe to reposition, holding the toilets. Obviously, they've given up mid and connector for a while, so they do have to be wary of this. Zaiwu getting that first kill, and Shock's making his presence known as well. Oh. Zaiwu doubling up, and this is uh, the best start Vitality have had in a very, very long while. You can't avoid him for forever. Eventually, he will take a position that the NIP side walk into. And two kills from Zaiwu. Nice damage from Shox as well. He's put Twist down on 18, but that AWP is still in his hand. So it's not the end of the world. Deep Smoke for RPK gives him so much leeway inside of this B bomb site. He knows ahead of time the NIP are coming, but the flash is so good. And they've got him locked in. Rez finding that kill. Apex on the barrels has to deliver here. Smoke going down, but they're already out through Monster. The flash could enable a peek. And the smoke has actually worked out. Twist is getting stuck inside it bomb dropped 18 seconds of time might hurt, hurt nip in this situation unless propsky can save the day he's got a clutch to perform another potential 4k nine seconds though and this bomb is only just getting picked back up six five and he has lost the round as a result no time for Prat looking for kills but he might die after time that's not the end of the world for Nip, though, right? That is the one advantage of them taking these last, what, nine rounds so, uh, so cleanly. There's so much money for the Swedes. Even losing a player off the time does not impede their ability to buy, likely till the end of the half. We're going to see that AWP in the hand of Twist. So we've got, once again, him to try and challenge Zaiwu. If I'm an IP here, I just go back to B, right? Like we tried long once, Zaiwu was there. It didn't work. Team Vitality this time. They throw some utility down in mid. But I think they've anticipated the same thing I have, right? You're not, you're not expecting Nip to want to go back to long in this round. And with all that utility, with noise being made down at short, it has got the attention of the Frenchman. Four players down at B, Zaiwu alone on the A side of things. At any point, these two players could just burst Sai Wu, and he has got little to stop that with. He's got three angles to dedicate to on his own, and they are creeping on out. Plopsky's found himself a valuable position, but the shadow gives away that position, and Zai Wu can just lock it down to almost a third. Red was, Rez was scoped on his position with a creep. Going through the smoke is Lecro, but RPK is ready for it. Apex would have been there if he wasn't, and now two players for NIP just grabbing the bomb out of spawn and moving up towards A. Zai Wu no longer alone on this site either. It's actually Apex and Shocks as, uh, you know, double rotation for Vitality once Zai Wu got picked. Rez looking for his 20th kill, and with 25 seconds, NIP have got to go. Oh, but he's checked for shocks, and Twist winning the fight onto Alex. They get both the kills into the A site. Apex and RPK thrown into this retake, and it's a bit of an awkward one, right? You look over at Vitality's money, it's not ideal. They can't buy if they lose this round. So if Team Vitality do dedicate, if they do decide to go for this, they've got to win it, or else the odds are NIP. They could have just paved the path to a 12-3 half. Rez, 20 kills to his name, the man to open this round up. Twist back in the toilets, and they're making mincemeat of this retake. RPK will come in on that flank, but Twist has shut him down, and together, him and Rez, they'll lock in another for NIP at a critical juncture in this game. They stop Vitality getting their foot in the door in this, uh, in this second half in any way, shape, or form. 5.10 at least would feel like it was recoverable for the Frenchman. Now, 4.11 is the best they can hope for. And as we mentioned, the buy they have coming into this round, it does come with its limitations. There's no orps, it's famuses for the most part on these Vitality players. No kits as well, so if that bomb goes down, they've got to be quick in the retake. Ooh. Apex has an inkling. Plops key is already tagged up for the warbangs, but he will get through connector. Again, this position being forfeited, forfeited by the likes of Vitality, but they might come to reconsider with short water being taken. Apex again pushed into this, this position, but NIP have come to expect this. They've been doing a lot of slow burning rounds on A, always having res, just hold the exit to B, not get aggressive, just wait. Once they cleared out these toilets and they know the Vitality are unlikely to re-aggress, they can go down Connector and start to take B control. 
Depends where that first pick comes in. Propsky going to come join them on the top site now. And a double long toilet set up here for Vitality. Lots of mollies going through. Maybe too many mollies. Rez has left that B site to grab the bomb. And Shox has spotted these players coming through the toilets. Nice spray, but he only gets one for it. Forrest with a trade. Zywoo moving in, and he's got another. That's a gun dropped at his feet as well. Upgrade from the Famas. Needs to get out of position, but he gets stuck on the fencing. Hits his head, and he will be dead. Propsky getting that kill. There's 30 seconds left for NIP. Only one man on the A site to stop this. It's Alex. We had a lot of standout moments from Alex yesterday. Quieter today, and now he's really got to come into his own. Whoa, what? Plopsky. I mean, NIP just on a tear. What can you even do if you're Vitality at this point in time? 1v3 for Apex is going to be required, and Twist is already homed in on the angle nip. They'll complete the 12 3 run at the end of this first half. They have showed up here looking to bring the heat, bringing some of that Swedish fire with them. And make it a mockery of Team Vitality in this first half. Will Nip keep it up or will the Frenchman bite back? We'll find out in the second half after a quick break. Waiting for the time to pass Dreaming of what happens next I see what I want to be Questioning my destiny Only knowing what I see I don't even realize I've already made a path And I can change it anytime I can, can't take it back I know what I want But it seems so damn far away Absolute decimation in the first half. NIP sitting 12-3 after their T side of Inferno versus Vitality. Yes, you heard me right. It's Vitality dropping the ball right now in their winner's match, in the match that could just throw them to first place, throw them straight to Odin's. And uh, NIP are trying to take it away, trying to avoid relegation as well. Doing a great job of it, Harry. 12-3, pistol round coming through. It's do or die time for Vitality if they want to get back into this map. Otherwise, we're going to be heading to dust two. 
those odds have shifted. Yeah, they really have. I mean, Vitality with the favorites heading into this. Now Betway have this one in favor of NIP. And I think with good reason, Vitality, three players up through long, the bomb all the way back here at B. So I'm imagining this is the matchmaking classic, the three players out through mid, down into toilets, down through connector toward that B site. Oh, damn, Apex. That is a smoke and a half. Not an easy one to throw, but it will open up this B site now. NIP getting flashed out. Lekra can't stop them. Red's getting one, and Shark's opening up. This is a bloodbath for Vitality, and they found all the kills they need. Twist almost drops that farm on the barrels, but even if he did, there's four players here, and they are hounding him down with the Glocks. Absolute spam central. RPK finishing off that round with three. He is seemingly so good at these Glock rounds, these T-side pistols, to get openings here for Vitality, and that could be the opening that they require to get back into this map. Yeah, I mean, as we remember, right, Vitality won the pistol back in that first half, and NIP were able to snatch that force buy away from them. I wonder if we're going to see that again, and indeed we will. NIP, two scouts, some digs. They go for the investment here. They've got plenty of rounds to, uh, to play with. They do have quite the buffer, that nade, though has already done a lot to soften up these scouts and mitigate some of the danger in this round. Zai Wu extending that advantage now a little bit further for Team Vitality. Ooh. Man, this, these nades have been very, yeah. very good from Vitality. They've already found around about 80 points of damage between those two that have gotten... Oh, sorry, like 130 points of damage between the two nades that have gone out. And that Molotov... Gonna find oh, even more. Oh run. goodness, Plovsky, that's so unfortunate. Forrest still alive, still kicking here with the Deagle, and he is kicking up a storm. He'll get a second onto RPK, and he's still alive, still just delaying this play from Vitality. Under a minute left, so they've got time. Will they be ready for Forrest repositioning onto the barrels? Now he's made his presence known, and it shocks his close position as he hears that reload that should lock in this round. And it's only Twist left now. The man who was naded down low in the beginning of the round on a very, very long flank. None of these players are tagged by the Deegs. So this scout is going to have a hard time finding anything. This will be that fifth for Vitality. That's got to be a sigh of relief for the Frenchman as well, getting the actual conversion, right? They won the first pistol, as you said, and lost to the force buy. So can't afford to do it after a 12-3 half in the opponent's favor. Three AKs taken forward as well, unless Twist can get these exits. It is very close as I wants it, and he'll take the kill five rounds the start of something here for vitality and i definitely don't want to count them out already at halftime considering you know how these t sides have just been so dominant throughout the pro league and, and no games have been dominant every game has come down to almost 30 rounds it seems so let's see if this economy can help vitality get back into the game as well three ak's lots of money made nip on a full eco now bit of a nade stack for the ninjas where will they take it Well, all five players down at B. It's looking like a monster nade stack. Likely just going to wait for that first bit of contact to get made. Bit of a shame because it doesn't look like it's going to find much. Vitality are just holding, right? They're not leaving anything up to chance in this round. And as Shox probes this B site, you'll get the info that there's a few players here. And that spurred Vitality on enough to at least now start clearing out the connector. They get out through the top of it, in towards middle. And if they go into A, this is a done deal. I mean, there's not really any danger in this round aside from the nades anyway. So this should be where we see Vitality go 6 to 12 and reach that halfway mark to get him back to the same scoreline as NIP. Not going to get to see that AWP bought out over on the CT side in the round following this one for the Swedes. You can see how scared they are of getting flanked. All of them keep checking heaven because they've completely given up the A site. And Vitality, in theory, could just walk through A and get behind NIP. They're not. 
They're only just executing this bomb site now. NIP going to hear all of the utility landing, and as a result, we'll have to rotate up, save these nades. But now Shox is pushed up. Great position, and they aren't ready for it. The nades go out, but some of them don't even get past the stairs. Shox is looking for more kills by the second. Got to get that reload in. NIP starting to fall back, but Shox is hungry for more, and more he shall be fed. Two more players for NIP with pistols. And it won't be too much of a task for Vitality to take this anti-eco. Six rounds, slow and steady wins the race. No Forest. He's looking fast and furious, and he's hitting shots with this Deagle. Shox is low, or Apex is low rather. Shox is dead. And Forest not long left in this round, so may as well just try and throw a Hail Mary, catch some players moving through heaven. Ooh, it's close, but it's not quite the kill. Alex finishing it off, and Vitality only losing one player, so no problem. How that first buy for the CT side can come in, though. And this is where we really get a taste of how the NIP CT side tax stacks up in comparison to what we saw from them in that first half. And also how they fare against the Vitality that have gotten their heads in the game a bit more now. That AWP is out on Twist. He's taken it glass cannon. That was a big question mark heading into this round. And NIP, they are looking to get it out straight away. Taking this early short control has come at a bit of a cost, right? Those nades have found early damage onto Zywu and RPK. With how many M4s we have over on the CT side, that's just softened these players up. So now those M4s can be pretty much as effective as an AK, right? One shot headshot onto Zywu and RPK. That potential is there. Everyone's getting tagged a little bit here for Vitality. Still with a very, very heavy B presence and losing Apex over in top connector actually has quite the implications for Vitality. Because they don't really have a lot of map control to work with now. For all they know, there could be players re-aggressing into the connector. So this is likely going to force the B play from Team Vitality. May as well at this rate. They've got a few smokes and Molotovs to go for the execute. I was mollying off that graffiti position. So that crow won't be able to tuck into the cubby. He'll have to stay in CT. Again, time coming low, but Propsky, he's got a bit of an, uh, an off angle here. Molotov coming through this time. Oh, he didn't really need to smoke. He could have survived. That Molly missed, but regardless, we'll keep him behind the position. Forrest getting one. Propsky comes out to help, and 20 seconds of bomb flying into the pit, as well as the bodies of Vitality. It's NIP taking a solid defense there on the B bomb site. One casualty, and that is it. Slaughtered are the French, and. Well, they really wanted that bomb plant as well. Money is certainly going to start to be a problem moving forward, but they should not have another buy in the tank. And I guess while that, you know, smoke wasn't needed for Popsky, it gives him so much more room to work on barrels. Zywoo's on that AWP. And Twist has been out orping him, you know, in the few battles we've seen. Zywoo's still hitting his shots, but, you know, when, when we get in that AWP v AWP game, Zywoo needs to drag Vitality into the lead here. Twist was able to get that opening kill in the previous round. Scary part is for Vitality, losing this round not only would give up a 14th to an IP, but it also leaves them dumpstered in terms of the money. You know, they don't have that loss bonus built up. They get the pistol, they've got rounds on the board, so... This actually becomes a very, very important one in deciding whether or not Vitality can pull this game back. Zai Wu. Over here at long, there is a player tucked into the cubby. That is Rez. It's not too uncommon to see this work as more of a bait and switch with a player back in the site, usually an AWPer, and Twist is there, drawing the attention in, allowing Rez to have the impact he would like. You know, while they're fixated on dealing with the man back in the A site, he can then spring his deadly trap. That isn't the call right now for NIP. They've instead got Twist just watching for this toilet push. Another man back within the bomb site as well in the form of Forest. The only real vulnerability here for NIP is Rez over at long. That's somewhere that Vitality could look to find the opener here because Zywoo's there. The utility now going into this A site. And this is going to be the A commitment from Vitality. Oh, no. 
Nice shot though from Twist. Molly is down and he gets pushed away. 20 seconds as Zywoo gets picked up on long. Rez gets aggressive and it works out wonderfully. Apex is inside of the site, but now Rez can come and pinch them. 10 seconds, Park going in and Rez can't stop it. He gets shot from long. Shox has gone on that long toilet flank and now the retake is on for NIP. Apex deep inside of the site, cutting them down as they get back through, but Forrest with two leaves Shox in the clutch. He's taken an AWP and they have a kit. Oh, but a missed shot there onto Forrest. And now as to reposition, they tap on the bomb and Plopsky is just sticking it. Shock's going to miss the timing and he does hold on to the AWP as a bit of a silver lining. That at least means that the buy can look to come through and have a couple of rifles here for Vitality. That is that danger of that open plant that we talk about. Rather than planting in front of default, you know, Shock's going to only stop the defuse if he either plays up, you know, inside of the toilets, peaking that angle that Propsky was holding, or if he walks up through the flower beds. And that leaves you with nowhere to retreat. If a rifle pushes you and you have an AWP on flower beds, you're stuck. You have to get both those kills. So Shock's, you know, kind of hamstrung by the bomb plant thrown in by Vitality there. I like the plant because obviously, you know, we saw Apex push and get aggressive towards CT and, and, you know, that's an example of when it really can work. If Apex stays alive and is able to take bank or stairs, that bomb's open for him as well. Him and Shox could crossfire theoretically, but when you're left down to just one A short player left with that open bomb plant, it leaves you with not a lot of room to peek it. 14-6, NIP making this happen, getting rid of Vitality before they can get back into the game. Talk about that money coming lower, Harry, as well. Well, it's finally kicked in for Vitality. They did get a bomb plant, but P250 on Apex, Galil on RPK, Utility a miss. It's NIP's time to shine here in round number 21. Oh, and Lacro's aggressing at short. He's been seen by the players here. He's just able to get himself out of danger. Drops that smoke, and now Vitality, they try and go through. Alex feeds himself to the Wolves, and these kills just aren't coming in. RPK, well, he does get one. It's not enough. NIP, 15 to 6. This is such a dominant game. On day one, it was NIP having the, uh, the most dominant games of the Pro League thus far fall against them, or they yeah. might be about to take an incredibly dominant match up here on overpass versus the the favorites and the team at the top of this group and all done by the young player rez 25 and 9 he has just been on fire today forest no slacker either everyone's had their moments for nip but you know rez really has just been that knight in shine uh, knight in shining armor here for the ninjas fast b play desperate times call for desperate measures but obviously he's getting spammed he's got the smoke down on the barrels the molotov's landing alex is already deep in the pit he didn't finish off that kill he was blind and does so much damage to let who still stands tall bomb dropped Popsky waiting in that smoke and they can't get rid of him rpk turns around Popsky doesn't see him this is a catastrophe here for vitality they can't even get that Bob off the open, jumping up the top, and NIP have sent Vitality back down to the bottom of the barrel. 16 rounds and nothing for Vitality here in Overpass. It's only the first map of the series with Dust2 coming up next. We know how good the French can be there, but they certainly look like they woke up on the wrong side of bed today. We're going to have to see if they can turn it around as the Ninjas look fabulous here on day three of Group B. We're going to throw it over to a break. We'll be back with Chad and James on the desk before Dust2.